Yo guys, it's your homie Zeno Payne. I'd like to welcome y'all to one of the Black Desert Online video for the Xbox One. And today we're going to be going over the patch notes for the Awakening. So let's go ahead and bounce into it, guys. I hope you're excited because I know I am. Alright guys, we're going to begin this patch notes video with the update for the awakening um also the imperial delivery npc has been disabled until further notice you can still craft the imperial trade boxes however the npcs have been disabled but if you guys go down here press start you guys can look in your trade info and it'll give you all the information of what they want and all that good stuff but like i said it is disabled so i probably wait on it unless you guys want to go ahead and build the crates now that's totally up to you we also have hunting that finally came out in the game i know hunting's been around for a minute now but um it's like actually exp and all that good stuff and of course we do have the awakenings for each character i am on my dark knight and this is the awakening for the dark knight it's pretty freaking dope really in love with it but yeah, so every class in the game currently right now does have Awakening. We do also have the Black Market guy. And the Black Market guy will be located in these areas. I'm going to go and post up pictures. But while I'm in game, I'm going to go ahead and show you where he's at in Velia. So if you guys go to World Map and then enter Velia, you guys will see that he is here in this area. Right here in this little hut. And you guys will find the hut and talk to him and boom secret shop the secret shop is open at 2200 hours to 7 in the morning so that's 10 p.m at night in game time to 7 in the morning and he has a bunch of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and look for blackstone armor bundle that's six six hundred thousand that's ridiculously good but, all right, so we're going to go ahead and re-roll. I got a tree spirit belt for 37 mil. I'm going to, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to show you guys for the sake of the video, like, what I get. So we got hard black crystal shards for 950. How much energy do I have? Only have 29 left. So I can't roll. But I could tell you exactly what is in his inventory that he has a chance of giving you. He has Kazarka sealed weapon box, Kazarka weapons for each class, Katoom sealed sub weapon box, Katoom sub weapon for each class, Dim tree spirit armor, Gaius helmet, red nose armor begs gloves muskin shoes book of combat ogre ring cecil's necklace basilisk belt ring of crescent guardian blue well malar earrings tree spirit belt awakening weapon box witches earrings mark of the shadow hard black crystal shards bundle times three sharp black crystal shards times three crone stone bundle times ten hard black crystal shard bundle sharp black crystal shard bundle blackstone weapon bundle and armor uh, bundle uh, times five for the black stones so he does have a lot these are all the locations that he's at in Velia, Hideout, Calfion, and Altanova. I'll go ahead and let you guys, you know, look at where his locations are so that we guys can memorize those. But just remember, from 10 o'clock p.m. in game to 7 in the morning, he is available. And it does cost 50 energy every single time to re-roll his inventory. So make sure you guys stack up on the energy. If you guys want to, you guys can refer to my energy guide up top to know how to get that energy so that way you guys can farm it and all that good stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and go into Mysterious Accessories. Mysterious Accessories are available where the blacksmith is at. And I'm going to go ahead and walk over there to show you guys. Uh, also, let me know if you guys prefer this method of patch noting or if you guys prefer seeing the website and reading it off the screen. Um, I'd appreciate the feedback on that. Because if you guys like the gameplay better, I'll, I'll do this more often for patch notes. But as you guys can go to shop, you guys have a chance for a mysterious airing, mysterious belt, and mysterious necklace. It doesn't really say what you can exactly get, but it ranges from green grade to yellow gear accessories. We also have contribution increase. We have increases to the maximum number of contribution points for players. So now you guys can have the upper limit of 400 contribution points. So get out there and farm those contribution points. We also have mount changes. We have an increase to EXP for uh, breeding horses. And we also have tier 5 horses in the wild now. But it's a small chance to see these guys. Uh, quality of horses out in the wild has improved dramatically. And it will now be possible to catch a tier 5 in the wild. We have Waragon's Nest. If you guys don't know where Waragon's Gon's nest is i'll go ahead and show you guys on the map if it shows i don't have a compass on me right now so might be a problem 
Ruragon's Nest, boom, right here. This is where you guys want to go for Ruragon's Nest. And here, the AP and uh, DP ratio is exactly what it says right here on the map, 165. But they have a chance to drop uh, Asula's Wakened, uh, Weakened Magic Earrings in the ring, Rakaba Helmet, Blackstone Weapon, Blackstone Armor, Ruragon Hide, Ruragon Blood, Ruragon Meats, and Stone Ruragon Hide. Also, they have a chance to uh, drop the Seraph's Necklace, Black Magic Crystals, Ruragon Hide, Blood, Meat, uh, Yona's Fragment. Blackstone armor and scrolls written in an ancient language. Also, the stone Wurgon hide is particularly sought after by nobles and farmers alike, and as such, the stone Wurgon hide is to be sold for 1800 silver each. It's not very much, you can probably get more at hexes still, but it's still there. You probably get up like masses and masses amounts of that type of uh, resource because they do summon like 100. Uh, other small things around them. Uh, we also have life skill changes. To help adventures level up their life skills, we have increased the EXP gained through hunting, training, and farming. As hunting is a new life skill, we want to try and boost hunters up so that their life skill levels do not drag the user down too much while leveling. Training and farming also see a holdup in the lower and middle tiers where life skill progression slows down considerably. So we have made a few adjustments. Also, this one excites me, guys, because I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm really big in fishing on this game. Like, I really love fishing. So, they introduced seagull hotspots for fishing. And to utilize and observe these seagull hotspots uh, accurately, you have to be Master Fisher 1. So, after Professional 10, you, you hit that Master Mark. And... I gotta say, this is probably like the best thing for fishing right now, because if you guys go to those hot spots, you're like pretty much guaranteed blue to yellow fish, and it's just amazing for the EXP, and amazing for that moolah, you know, gotta get that moolah, baby, and then also, we have some item changes, the descriptions of Usla, uh, weakened magic ring, and Airing have had their description changed to include their drop spots at Wurragon Nest. Golden Pig's Blessing has also been changed to affect the whole family instead of just the character that uses it. And the descriptions of Usula's Magic Ring and Magic Airing had their descriptions changed. Oh, they put that twice. Okay. So, they, yeah, uh, that's not me reading the same thing twice. That's them in the patch notes that they put it down twice. So, anyway, uh, fixed an issue with the description of fish still mentioning that connecting nodes increases their cell value. So, I'm assuming that's not the case anymore, but we'll see. I don't have that in my video right now. But also, we have quest, the knowledge changes, like a bunch of scrolls and stuff like that. And then we have pearl shop changes. If you guys want to go ahead and look at the pearl shop stuff, I can go ahead and show you here right now. I went ahead and bought the costume for the Dark Knight because it looks oh so sexy. But right now, after this update, it kind of went buggy. So I can't really show you guys the different outfits. But I got to say, the Labrieve outfit for the witch and the Sin uh, Terana for the Dark Knight are pretty dope, and the other ones are pretty cool too. Well, there you go, it loaded, holy smokes. Thank you, that's the benefits of, I guess, recording. But yeah, that's the witch's costume, and I don't care whether you're male or female, that is sexy, all right? And then we have the Dark Knight's costume, which it probably won't not load, but we got a bunch of new additions to the costumes and stuff like that. And the costumes will drop, or when you guys buy them, it will come with a chess piece, will come with, you know, the shoes, the helmet, a side weapon, an actual main hand weapon, and your awakening weapon. Those are the things that you can get from the pearl shop, and it's 3,400 pearls. So, in my opinion, I think it's worth it, and the whole costume is diable. So, yeah, yeah, boy. Um, we also have swimming in Black Desert has been changed. It's been awkward for some people, so evidently they changed it to LB to... Um, go below and then x to resurface why they changed it i have no clue i had no problem with a and x going up and down but i guess they just had to change it um we also have the warrior the bunch of fixed issues to improve the effects of charging thrust we have sorceress night crow will now activate first when hitting lta obsidian ashes has been improved when used in places with low ceilings dark knight then we have lawn which we have skill effects have been added to the following skills absolute pendulum kick one absolute pendulum kick two absolute self yuri purge absolute blooming nether flower absolute symbidium and fixed an issue where in circum certain circumstances four point splatter would not work as intended after using three point stipple 
And then the Berserker has a bunch of fixed issues as well. And Headbutt 2, Absolute Headbutt now has an additional strike when leveling up. Storming Beast 2 has been fixed. Tackling Rock now applies damage correctly when not on cooldown. Fixed an issue where only one hit would apply when using the Rock Smash skill. Found an issue and fixed it where Frenzy Destroyer 4 would not apply the correct critical hit chance in PvE and fixed an issue where Berserkers were able to move incredibly quickly using Storming Beast and Headbutt. Which fixed an issue where you could not use teleport. Fixed an issue where you're when using teleport would result in abnormal behavior in certain situations. And when using teleport, the falling animation will only display the falling 10 meters or more. They also have fixes for wizard. Fixed an issue where you could not use teleport while running with weapons drawn. Fixed an issue where using teleport would result in the abnormal behavior in certain situations. When using teleport, the falling animation will only display the falling 10 meters or more. Musa, we have Whirlwind Cut. Cyclone skill has been fixed. Fixed an issue where using Rising Storm during Whirlwind Cut. The cooldown on Whirlwind Cut will be applied to the skill. Fixed an issue where Typhoon cannot be used once Absolute Carver had been learned. And then we also have a bunch of other fixes, but just to save time on the video, just have to make it too long, I'll go ahead and skip those as they're not really um, important in my opinion. So yeah other than that guys that covers the patch notes we also have an event going on i'm gonna see if it'll load for me so that way I guys that way that way i can show you guys we have awakening login events and what this awakening login event if it lets me scroll down but it won't let me scroll down dang it all right well anyway the awakening update event will start tomorrow through june 19th okay and it lets me do it awesome now, the daily login event. For day one, you get a magic butcher knife. For day two, a triple float fishing rod. For day three, awakening weapon box. Day four, item drop increase scroll 60 minutes times three. Day five, we got spellbound toolbox times one. Day six, we have cleanse magic blackstone times five. Day seven, advice of Volks 1525. Day eight, energy potion extra large. Day nine, gold dagger. Day 10, cleanse magic blackstone. Day 11, item drop chance. Day 12, hard black. Day 13, Sharp Black. Day 14, Volks Cries. 13, day, day 15, Awakening Weapon Box. Day 16, Advice Volks. Day 17, Enhancement Help Kit. Day 18, Memory Fragment. Day 19, Memory Fragment. 20, you guys get the point. And also, we have the new user rewards. And so if you guys are new to the game, you guys would get a bunch of cool stuff too. But what the whole thing is, there's also play more, get more event. For If you guys are logged in for five minutes, you guys will get item drop chance scrolls. You guys will get, if you guys are on for an hour, you guys will get a spellbound two box. For two hours, hard black crystal shards. And three hours, sharp black crystal shards. So it's pretty exciting guys. I hope you guys are excited for this update because like I said in the beginning, I know I am for sure 100%. So other than that guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys found it informative, don't forget to smash that like button. And for more Black Desert Online content for the Xbox One, don't forget to subscribe. And especially if you're new here, other than that, your homie Xenopane out. Peace!